seven missed layups just on little stuff. God damn. This week you have uh, five. For real? For real. Yeah, uh, you have one on Monday, three on uh, Tuesday, and this is a mess pass. Either you didn't catch it or you made a dumb pass. You got to cut. Next up, let's go. Cut and screen what and screen down. Yeah. Pass cut screen down. We can direct later when we put in other steps. You'll be all right. Yeah. It's because you haven't practiced too much. How's your leg feel? Oh, uh, it's good. Right here, that seems perfect. I don't have to Good. Everybody on the arc. Everybody on the arc. Who in here passes as fast as I do? Nobody here. Maybe Jamil. Maybe Derek. That's what you have to have right now. I need you to pass like a man. I need you to throw that thing hard so that way if there's a tip ball or there's a hand on it, it's still going through. All right? So we're going to go to your strong side and we're going to swing it as hard as we can around. This will be a skip pass. Don't hit the goal. All right? When you come out here and you're throwing these weak passes, they're not going anywhere. Am I right or wrong, Ted? How many weak passes do we see? Lots of, listen, when you're going game speed, should it ever be a weak pass? Anytime you step in that door for practice, it's got to be a man pass. If you're a man, you need to pass like a man. And if you're not passing like a man, from this day forward, I'm going to let you know you pass like my daughter. Go! Good pass, Luke. All right, now stop. Go back up top. Listen, I want you to step into your pass. I want you to throw it hard. I want him to feel it on their hands. I don't care if you throw it so hard he can't catch it right now. Ready? <laughs> penetrate, not this way. So you, where, are you, where are you gonna penetrate, Kirk? To the foul line. How, how fast should you be going? No, game speed. And, and make sure it, you, you do it where you hold it for a couple seconds, okay? And then come up. Do 10 in a row and then go to the next foot. That's stuff to do probably regularly, maybe every day. It'll really help strengthen uh, your, your ankle, foot area, and it'll help with balance and all that. That's where it should be. If you don't throw it up, you don't get it there. If you don't throw it up, you don't get it there. It's three on two, just throw it up over and let him dunk it. All right, go. Will, come here. Go. What'd you do wrong? Why? Because half the point of Thank you. Amari, come here. What'd you do wrong? Next time, go right here to the to the, to the block. He was wide open. Yeah. The, uh, Just the look him off, look him off, and then pass to the block. Like look right at him, like you're gonna give it to him, and then just lay it right in front of him to be a layup. If you're taking a dribble, it's got to be towards the rim. It's got to be with a purpose. If you're just doing dribbles for the hell of it, you've got to remember in a game, who's coming behind you? Defense. Defense. So right now, what's the quickest, most effective way to get a bucket? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. What drill did we just do before this? Hard passes. Hard passes. So why not swing it twice and cut, and you'll be right there at the rim. It's three on two. Can, can, they, can two people possibly guard three lanes? Look. This lane, this lane, this lane. How can they do it? He's going to have to choose. He's going to have to choose. Somebody's going to be open. It's going to be a layup, right? That's what you got to figure out. You got to figure out how to play the game up here and not with your body. Go.